Changhua was born during the Ming Dynasty into the noble Chai House, a family of warriors. Fatherless, she was raised well by her kind and protective mother. In time, she learned to use her mother's Chinese sword to practice ancient techniques. Though her mother passed away at a young age, Changhua continued to devote herself to the sword, and in time, became proficient enough to do her family's name proud. Her life, however, was on the verge of taking a sharp turn. A long time has passed since your mother left this world. It has. Things cannot have been easy for you. I've never really thought about it like that. From time to time, I just remember what my mother said to me. Fate is carved with your own hands. Use that sword to open a way to the ever-changing future. So whenever I face challenging times, it's up to me to overcome them. Your attitude reminds me so much of your mother. <laughs> and my skill with the sword? That too, of course. With my mother's sword in hand, I want to find my own path. Naturally. And if you wish to serve your country, like others in your family, that path may be open to you. How so? Apply to work for the Emperor's Guard. If you are serious, it may be worth considering. Really? Our country is facing difficulties. Perhaps times are changing. Even so, you must remember that you represent the Chai name. A slapdash attitude will not be taken lightly. You will be tested on your intelligence and manners, as well as your swordsmanship. Understood. Do us proud, Shanghua. I will, and then some. No one can match my skills with a sword. Don't hurt yourself. The exam has only just begun. I know. Oh, is that mooncake? Looks great. Ow! You can eat if you pass the exam. Uh, I didn't expect a written exam. And did you have to make it this hard? Of course we did. Ugh. I've never been good at this sort of thing. If you've got time to whine, you've got time to write. I hear your brother was on another level. He's not around anymore, so what does that have to do with anything? If I get into the Emperor's Guard, I could probably try to find him for you. You could, but to do that, you need to worry more about your exams than Mooncake, no? Okay. Whoa! I didn't think there'd be so many people. The exam must still be in its early stages. I can't believe there's actually another woman here. Um, and you are? The name's Liang Lingyu. It's an honor to be here with one of the Chai family. Oh, um, okay, thanks. What better way to get acquainted than by going around or two? Huh? Oh, sure. Wow, you Chai's really are something. Thanks. It'd be great to work alongside you, fighting for justice in the Guard. For justice? Yeah, justice will always prevail. Oh, okay. Whew, another tough training session today. Wanna get some food together, Lingyu? How about we go for another round first? What, now? What would you do if the Emperor was attacked right now? You couldn't just ask the enemy to wait while you ate, could you? Okay, all right. Huh, 
This is why I chose to stick close to you. You use a lot of different techniques, but your foundation is solid. It's nothing compared to yours. I'm just doing what my mother taught me to do. If you've got one weakness, it's your mentality. No matter how good you are with the sword, you can't defend justice if you're easily discouraged. Hmm. I'm fine when I need to be. Do you think the hero's sword really exists? Shh. Don't mention that here. Are you sure about this place? I hear they have a lot of riots around... Ah! Right on cue. Just try it, scoundrels! Like I say, justice will prevail. <sighs> Somehow we're still alive. Um, Ling Yu? Are we lost? <laughs> Shanghua, you just don't get it, do you? We don't follow paths. We create them wherever we go. Ugh, I could eat a horse. Here, have some tea. Yay, mooncakes! Um, nom nom. Thanks, looks great. The hero's sword. What's so important about it? Is it really worth risking one's life for? If it's for justice, then sure. I wish I was as steadfast as you, Ling Yu. I haven't got a clue as to what I should do. You impressed me with your ambition when you told me you wanted to become an officer. But wouldn't your mother be upset? She always said, fate is carved with your own hands. Words of wisdom. Really? Yeah, it suits you. All right, I'm feeling a bit better. That's the spirit, you two. I guess it was too much to ask for us to work together. Ling Yu! You do understand I won't hold back. Come on! Fight me! But I... Your blade's shaking, Shanghua. I'll take no pride in beating you like this. <sighs> wow. You're really something. Ling Yu! I... Come on, Shanghua. What's with that expression? Don't cry. <laughs> Stand tall. Be proud. You're the victor. Justice will prevail. That better? <laughs> yeah. Better. A quest for the Sword of Salvation. So that's why the Third Corps is using the Emperor's Guard. Here I am! Finally! Another path closed to me. In that case... Fate is carved with your own hands. Use that sword to open a way to the ever-changing future. Mother! Ling Yu! Just you watch what I can do! The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. <laughs>